Hello. This is my setup of uh, uh, WLToys 6 axis quadcopter. Uh, now I use V222 board on this. And this is Y3000 camera, which I installed on the canopy. I can remove uh, canopy with no problem and this is the connector that goes to the camera board and this is the connector that comes from uh, the quadcopter board now they join in this place so they are parallel and that goes to the main battery which we connect to this one so we, we have uh, one, two, three, three female JST connectors and two males. So five connectors for this aircraft plus one connector on the battery. So we have three JST connectors. Of course, uh, it's not really, it's a, a bit uh, heavy, not for this aircraft, but uh, in general. This aircraft can lift much more, and uh, since I don't use motor covers, and I don't use skids, no more skids, and I just install the battery here, and I can install it. So the the long battery I can install this way, and the wider battery I can install this way because those plastic things. See, this one, hold it from the bottom. So I don't have right now battery to show you close. I don't want to stand up. So anyway, it, I insert it just here and it is held by these plastic extending things. So this is my setup uh, and what I did is modify the canopy. This one is to insert SD card. Maybe I should make it wider because it's not really comfortable to do that with my fingers. This one, uh, this window is for this connector which goes from the board. It doesn't go to the back but goes to the right. Uh, on the other side I have a window to, for the button on the Y3000 camera. And now I need to make it wider because I, I have, I use it no problem with my fingers but in the field it's not very good because I have to hold the quadcopter this way to see the button on that board inside. You see over here, the, the, there's a, a LED which blinks, and I, I want to see this to make sure that I'm on. At the same time, I have to press this button and, and to see what's going on here. See? and it's not very comfortable in the field so I'm going to make this window a bit wider and you can see how I normally do that so how I made these windows oh, I'm going to demonstrate it right now so I use uh, this uh, this thing paper clip uh, I removed plastic from here and this plastic uh, allows me to hold it, it doesn't get really hot the hold is only the tip but if I strip it completely this part will be hot and it will be hard to hold in my hand and then I just uh, heat with a button or with a match sorry I light the match and I heat the wire can use any kind of wire. Well, something's wrong with this match. I use this match for glue work. That's why it is hanging like that. Anyway, that's enough. And now, without wasting time, I just do this. Okay. And here we go. So now I can just uh, open this window, cut it with the uh, scissors just cut the tip with, with the scissors when I it's not very comfortable to show it right now but this is really easy to do 
All right, something like this. Well, I trim it, make it better, but I achieved my goal. Now it is much easier to to press that button on the camera. So this was my setup. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.